once upon a time in the little town of Motl lived three complete strangers named Motlajo, Motlaje, and Motlaji, who had two things in common. They were filled with great sadness common among the people of Motl. Two, every single day except on Saturday and Sunday, they found themselves on the same street around lunch hour, pondering over the whispers of their discomforts. And what were those discomforts, you ask? Well, Motlajo had a weak immune system. And between him and the water stood the window pane of his flat. Montlaje had depression. And every single lunch hour he would sit in his car watching people pass by his windscreen. And Montlaje had a low sex drive. With his wife on the verge of divorcing him. But then, on one fateful day, a strange woman appeared in the lunch hour on that very same street in the little town of Mother. With her, the stranger carried a bunch of papers. Those papers stood too high for anyone to see her face. And in one sudden swift, a gust of wind blew a few of the papers he carried, with one of the pamphlets splashing across the window of Motlajo's flat, startling him a bit. Another across Motlajo's windscreen as if to say, You, my good sir, got yourself a ticket. And another one slapping Motlajo's face while walking towards the chemist, forcing him to stop, detach and investigate the literal epiphany that had just slapped him across the face. And to their surprise, the paper spoke to them differently, yet in a way that only each one could relate. Then suddenly smiles started to emerge from their ever so dull long faces common among the people of Mortal, as if to say, the sun is rising. What could have been on this magic paper that three different strangers could each relate in such a special way? Well, you see, my friend, this was no ordinary paper. On it was the sense of hope, the sense of relief and the sense of redemption. For Matlajo, it promised to boost his weak immune system, giving him hope of living life beyond the class divide. For Matlaje, it promised to relieve him of his constant depression, giving him hope that he can get back to enjoying even the most minute things life had to offer. And as for Matlaje, he couldn't contain himself. He immediately grabbed his cell phone and called his wife that he's getting his libido bag. Tears rolled down both of their eyes, and they were so overjoyed with relief. Not sure what happened to other pamphlets that escaped the strange lady, who by the way has since disappeared into thin air, or what other problems they solved, but from that day onwards, the whole town of Model regained its color back. And that, my friend, is the story of the three frowns of Model.